Hello boys and girls and welcome to the Halo Foundry. So Jazzware have just announced Wave 3 of the World of Halo line and I thought it'd be a lovely idea to sit down as a family and take a look at it together. How nice, I know. But first, I have to get this out of the way. Wave 3 has been announced. I'm still waiting for Wave 2 to show up in the UK. Like come on Jazzware, free for free, there are Halo fans outside of the US. I know it might come as a surprise to you, but there are people willing to pay stupid amounts of money, like myself, for lumps of plastic. I am willing to give you more money, but instead I have to keep going to eBay and paying for customs and shipping, and some random person is making a quick buck off something that you should be doing. It should be so simple. But I won't mind about that here. Maybe I'll make another video about it on how difficult it is to be a Halo collector if you're outside of the US. If that sounds like a good idea, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't sound like a good idea, just think really hard about how bad of an idea it is and I promise you, it'll be forwarded straight to my assistant because we care about your feedback, I promise. Mm -hmm. Lovely feedback. But with that little moan out of the way, let's jump straight into these images shown so far of Wave 3. The World of Halo line by Jazzware are four inch figures with world building in mind, sort of like how Mega Constructs have their figures set up. Each figure should be continuing the prices of the previous waves, and they should be around $10, £10, or whatever your local currency is. But this wave includes Master Chief with the grapple shot, a Spartan EOD, a Spartan uh, blank, an elite mercenary, a Jackal Freebooter, and a sexy Hyperius. But now, judging by the 117 on Chief's chest and the lock helmet on Hyperius, this image does appear to be flipped. So let me just correct that with a little editing magic bullet. There we go. But first off, we have Master Chief, which appears to be the exact same mould as in previous waves, and he's also come with a commander rifle on his back, so nothing exciting there, but hang on, like literally hang on, what is that thick ass thing on his wrist? Yeah, he's coming with a grapple shot, which looks like it can come off his wrist as well and go on other figures. Nice. But judging just how big this thing is, hopefully it can actually shoot out the dark with a press of a button. Or, what I'd prefer, if it had a spool of string inside it attached to the dart, and we could actually swing Master Chief around like he's Spider-Man or something. Yeah, that'd be so sick. We also have a Spartan EOD with the Hydra Launcher, which, hopefully by judging by these pictures, they have added paint on it with some black detail around the grey, as the other one we got with the Master Chief and the Brute Captain set was as plain grey and completely boring, so this is a win-win for me. But the EOD is looking so flashy in yellow, and it's great to see that this design is staying true to how it appeared in Halo 3. I'm not saying that the Halo 3 designs are better than all the other games, but to me, the EOD peaked in 3. Then we get another Spartan, which is in blue and orange. But I have no idea what this Spartan is, but I know that I love it. He is shown here holding the Bulldog shotgun, which again isn't anything too exciting. But the look of this guy is very promising for the new armor sets that we'll be seeing in Halo Infinite. You can tell 343 are staying true to the simple designs this time around, and every single new helmet they have shown so far has been a beaut. But now we have the Elite Miner, or maybe it's a mercenary, but he's shown here held in the Pulse Carbine, and I think that we can all agree that the design of this in Halo Infinite is absolutely flawless. This guy is a must for me. I love the look of this guy, and I hope they'll be releasing him in other colours too. Just thinking about how great he will look in red or even yellow just makes me moist. Now, moving on, we can assume that this is a Jackal Freebooter, and this one, out of this wave, is my favourite. I just love it. The shield is looking great. However, the energy pistol is looking rather chunky to me. It sort of looks like the one included in the Spartan collection line. That one was made for 6-inch figures, so hopefully this isn't going to be the same one and actually scale down a little bit on its release. But regardless, the design of this little guy is stunning. And alone with the Elite, it is great seeing some classic designs back. But for me at least, I do hope that the Elites and the Jackals from Halo 4 and 5 are kept alive somewhere in Halo Infinite. Because they weren't really redesigns, the Elites and the Jackals in those games were actually subspecies, so they should still exist somewhere. And finally, we have the legendary Hyperius. Now the other day, 343 did release some notes in their blog about this guy, basically confirming a little bit more about who he is. And I'm thinking that 343 released this information knowing that Jazzweb are going to be releasing these images of this wave 3. So 343 just wanted to get their foot in there first. But now here's the fun thing. We know that Jazzweb are staying true to the designs from 343 and they're changing everything based on the images that they're given. For example, just take a look at the Warthog from the Toy Fair and how it released. So we can assume that the designs shown here in wave 3 
are correct to what we're going to be getting in game and they're no longer concept art. So this is exciting to see that Hyperius is going to have these crazy things about him. So to me, at least, this is confirming that Locke's helmet and Spartan fingers or Spartan something will be around his neck. But looking at the images, I think the Arbiter's headpiece has been removed. So hopefully our big boy, the Arbiter, will be returning. But I think that this guy, Hyperius, is looking amazing. And seeing him included with the Avenger is a nice little touch, as we haven't seen this in the World of Halo series just yet. But I would have preferred him to have the gravity armor shown in the concept art, as that gravity armor looks like it's going to be a one-off for this character alone. And the Ravenger, we guarantee that we're going to be seeing that with tons of other figures down the line, so it might get a bit boring. Who knows? But there we go. That is Wave 3 of the World of Halo line. I think that this one is so much better than Wave 2, as the only repeated characters here is Master Chief where Wave 2 had a few repaints in it, like the Grunt and the Marine. But hopefully I can pick this up when it comes out and give you a more in-depth review. Although, like I said, I'm still waiting for Wave 2 to come available in the UK. Come on, once again, sell me stuff, I will give you money. But the real question here is, are you going to be picking these up when they come out? Which one of this Wave 3 is your favourite? And also let me know which one is your favourite overall out of all the waves. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly Halo Gear videos. Ta-ta for now, my loves.